Greetings from Washington, and thank you for this opportunity to address NRB's annual convention. I'd like to begin my message by quoting a passage from our Bill of Rights. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech. The principles of free expression and freedom of religion, as enshrined in the First Amendment, rest at the foundation of our great nation. And it is the defense of these principles that gave rise to your organization. NRB was founded in the 1940s in response to the threat of censorship of evangelical radio ministries. Just as the virtue of free expression is timeless, so, it appears, is the fight to defend it. In recent years, we've seen warning signs that our nation's commitment to freedom of speech is beginning to unravel. A Pew survey found that 40% of millennials, 40%, believe that the government should be able to bar certain individuals from making offensive statements. We've seen this sentiment play out on college campuses, where too many students believe that views perceived as unpopular or offensive should be silenced. Too often today, the mantra seems to be, free speech for me, but not for thee. The newest and most important battlefield in the fight for free speech is the internet. Despite vows from powerful online platforms that they will stay true to internet freedom and openness, we have seen them block or discriminate against lawful content they don't like. Whether it's online or over the airwaves, we need to reaffirm our nation's commitment to free expression. That's why I haven't been afraid to call out censorship when I see it. I pledge to you today that I will continue to fight for your right to have your voices heard. At the FCC, we will not only defend the principles we all hold dear, we are also committed to removing or modernizing regulations that hold you back. One of the most powerful forces in government is regulatory inertia. A rule that might have been necessary at one time can become yellowed and obsolete with age. In some cases, it's just a matter of good housekeeping to repeal that rule. In other cases, repeal is a necessity because the rule stands in the way of innovation and investment that would benefit consumers. And that's why we launched our Modernization of Media Regulations Initiative in 2017. Through this effort, we have been working to identify which rules are still necessary and which should be modified or eliminated. Based on public input, we are working to update our rules to match the realities of today's marketplace and to help you, as broadcasters, better serve your audiences. Now, speaking of our goals at the FCC, I would like to thank you all at NRB for your critical involvement in the Commission's work. Led by the able and courageous Dr. Jerry Johnson and Aaron Mercer, you have supported me personally and given me a lift too many times to count. And you have been instrumental in a number of our proceedings, which has helped us make better decisions. One proceeding in particular comes to mind. As you know, previously, FCC rules restricted non-commercial stations like yours from using airtime to fundraise for the benefit of third parties, unless the station received a waiver from the FCC. And this made it harder for NCE stations to raise money for worthy causes. For years, a proposal to relax these restrictions sat on the shelf. But one of the first things I did when I became chairman was to dust it off and to ask my colleagues to vote for it. And vote for it, they did. Last spring, the FCC agreed to relax these restrictions and make it easier for your stations to fundraise on a limited basis without having to file paperwork with our agency and then wait for an answer. We have you at NRB to thank for championing this proposal and for being patient while it took too many years to get adopted. Thank you for your work in making this change a reality. In closing, the book of James tells us, be doers of the word and not hearers only. The lesson I draw from this is that we should act in service of a larger purpose. So let's do that. Let us all work together to lift up others and to uphold the principles and freedoms that have made this the greatest nation in history. Thank you very much and God bless America.